Hello, James. It's good to see you again. How have things been since our last session? Hey, Counselor. Well, things have been a bit rough lately. My girlfriend and I had a big argument, and I'm not sure how to handle it. I'm sorry to hear that, James. Arguments can be challenging. Can you tell me about the argument? What was it about? It started over something small. Really? We were discussing our plans for the weekend. And somehow it escalated into a heated disagreement about priorities and commitment. She felt like I wasn't giving her enough time and attention. I see. So it seems like the argument revolved around feeling neglected and the level of commitment in the relationship. How did you both handle the disagreement? Honestly, I didn't handle it well at all. I let my emotions get the best of me, and I said some hurtful things. I accused her of being too demanding and not understanding my work commitments. I regret it now, but I can't take back what I said. It's important to remember that in an argument, words can have a lasting impact. Have you tried talking to your girlfriend since the argument? Yes, we had a brief conversation but it ended with both of us feeling very upset and unresolved. We need some guidance on how to move forward from this. It's great that you're seeking guidance, James. Communication is key in resolving conflicts. Have you considered setting up a calm and constructive conversation with your girlfriend? I've thought about it. But I'm afraid she might still be upset with me. How can I approach her without making things worse? It's understandable to feel that way, James. Start by expressing your genuine remorse for the hurtful words that you used. Acknowledge your responsibility and assure her that you want to work things out. That makes sense. I want her to know how sorry I am. I also want to understand her perspective better. How can I encourage her to open up and share her feelings with me? Active listening is crucial. Make sure she knows that you're genuinely interested in understanding her point of view. Validate her emotions and be patient. Giving her the space that she needs to express herself in her own way. I can do that. I just hope she's willing to listen and give me a chance to make amends. I want to rebuild the trust between us, and I don't want to fight anymore. Rebuilding trust takes time and effort from both parties involved. It's important to show consistency in your actions moving forward. Are there any specific ways you plan to address the issues that cause the argument? I've reflected on the argument and realized that I need to be more considerate of her feelings and be willing to compromise. I want to work on being a better partner overall so I can be a great husband someday. I want her to trust me. That's a great realization, James. Growth and self-improvement are positive steps. Remember, change takes time, and it's important to be patient with yourself as well as your girlfriend. Thank you, Counselor. I appreciate your guidance and support. I feel more hopeful now that we can work things out and hopefully strengthen our relationship. You're welcome, James. I'm here to support you through this process. Remember, open communication, empathy, and understanding are key elements in resolving conflicts. 
Take things one step at a time, and I believe you'll make progress negotiating fairly. Good luck with your conversation, and I hope you find the resolution you're looking for. Thanks once again, Counselor. I'll do my best to work things out. So, after our argument, I decided to give my girlfriend some space to cool off. It's been a couple days since we last spoke to each other. That can be a good approach, James. Allowing some time for emotions to settle can create a more conducive environment for a constructive conversation. Have you thought about when and where you'd like to talk to her next? I was thinking of inviting her to calm and neutral settings, like a quiet park or a cozy cafe, somewhere we can talk privately without distractions. And what do you plan to say when you meet her? Hmm. Well, I, I want to start by apologizing sincerely for my hurtful words during the argument. I feel awful guilty about it. I want her to know that I understand how my actions affected her, and I genuinely regret it. I'll let her express her feelings first, and listen to her. That's a great approach, James. Showing genuine remorse and actively listening are essential steps towards healing the wounds caused by the argument. Remember, it's important to be patient and not rush the process. Healing can take time. I know I can't expect her to forgive me right away. I want to assure her that I'm committed to making positive changes in our relationship and that I value her happiness. That's a positive mindset, James. It's important to communicate your commitment to growth and improvement. Be coachable. Are there any specific actions or changes you plan to discuss with her during the next conversation? Hmm. I I realize that I need to be more mindful of balancing my work and personal life. I want to establish a better routine that allows me to dedicate quality time to our relationship. I also want to discuss ways to improve our communication and find common ground in our priorities. These are excellent points, James. Demonstrating a willingness to make changes and finding mutually agreeable solutions will show your girlfriend that you're invested in the relationship's well-being. Remember, it's crucial to be open to her suggestions and needs. I completely agree, counselor. I don't want this conversation to be one-sided. I want to create a safe space where she feels comfortable enough expressing her concerns, needs, and expectations and feel good with me. This way, we can work together towards a healthier and happier relationship. Creating a safe and open environment for honest communication is key to resolving conflicts and strengthening your bond with each other. Just remember, healing takes time. I understand, counselor. Patience is something I need to remind myself of constantly. I just hope she's willing to give me a chance and work through this with me. Relationships require effort from both parties, James. I'm sure it'll work out wonderfully. Good luck. Thanks, Counselor. I'll see you next time. Welcome to Tiger English Academy. We hope you enjoyed our conversation today. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let us know what kinds of conversations you would like to have in the future. And don't forget to have a good one.